Is the Bitcoin bull market finally over? And we are now expecting a major drop to the downside to come. I know this may be a bit confusing for you, first of all, or maybe actually anger you slightly. No, the Bitcoin bull market is still in effect. We are looking for higher prices. Well, I bring you in this video a warning that maybe you do not want to hear, but I assure you it is what you need to hear. There will be a lot of theories, a lot of reasons of why we are going higher. Okay, when you're looking at the fundamentals, you've got a lot of people screaming out to you right now. The Bitcoin halving is upon us. The Bitcoin halving, historically very bullish. People are just looking at this and thinking this is going to be higher prices. You've got the Bitcoin halving, you've got the ETF, you've got the institutions coming in and buying up all the Bitcoin. A lot of narratives thrown at you. And it can make it very easy to just be bullish, 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 and never aware that, yes, just like us at Chart Champions, we have absolutely made a lot of profits over the past 12 months. We've been long and chill, right? Looking for higher, no short trades, and made a lot of profit on the bull market, absolutely. But there comes a time where a trend ends, and that bull market starts to quiet down and you look for the reversals. What makes a good trader is understanding that weakness and know when to switch. Know when it's no longer long the dip, long the dip, long the dip, but actually remain cautious with seeing weakness. Let's look for now a drop to come. In this video, I'm gonna be explaining to you exactly why personally I am not longing yet. I am looking for more of a drop. The reasons behind this, the trades, and you know, let's get straight into the video, right? What we're here for, what you're here for, what we both love, and that is trading, that is the charts. So let's switch back over to them and analyze this together. What looks like absolutely massive bull market, are we starting to see that weakness? Well, let's analyze that together, right? So looking here on a lower term time frame, what we see very simply is a little bit of a lower term time frame range to be trading, right? Just want to do a quick one minute recap, one minute recap, bear with me, really simply, how and why are we getting to this point? Okay, so what's the context behind this drop? Pretty simply, we came up to a major Fibonacci extension pivot, which is based off of Fibonacci and Elliott Waves. Both of them together gave us a target of just above $73,000. Of course, we were patient for that for a while, and we come up, we hit that $73,000 target, and of course, short trades were taken. This is based off of, I remind you, Elliott Waves and Fibonacci. So for me, a very key point, and that is currently why, in from my perspective, of why the high is put in where it is. Fibonacci targets Elliott Waves, okay, leading to this current move to the downside. Okay, of course, at this point, things were still looking very bullish. And then with time, you start to see more and more weakness creep into the market. That's why we've been saying over the past now, uh, this is 15th of March. So last week, you know, saying, yeah, we absolutely, we have been very bullish during the uptrend, long and chill for the vast majority of it, right? But when this weakness starts to show, we can absolutely remain patient for lower targets. Okay, this is how you need to view the markets if you want to be long-term profitable. Be bullish absolutely on the rises. But when that weakness starts to show, learn to switch up and recognize, okay, now I don't want to be so aggressive long in the dip. I actually want to be remaining patient for lower. Okay, And as I told my team already this morning in my daily morning live stream update, which you get every day of the week, a live stream, I've already told my champions that I am not longing yet. I am looking for more of a drop because I'm looking for this wave four pivot. So yes, I am absolutely expecting more of a drop and I am not longing yet. Personally, following along with the Elliott wave count that I have on the higher term time frame, this is what I po post to my team on Sunday, so next week is obviously this week, but I'm looking for more of a drop to come, which we are currently seeing right now, as we wanted to see. If you want to see that in-depth, you know, really in-depth Elliott wave count, that's, of course, already on the Champions website. You can watch that from, uh, you know, on the, on the chartchampions.com. If you want the full Elliott wave count and reasonings uh, and targets of this, but so now, really simply, I'm letting you know, looking for more of a drop and not longing yet. And that's how it's come along the process. $73,000 Fibonacci, major target, major rejection. From there, we start to see the weakness and we need to go from very bullish to being a bit patient, looking for lower. And then as we're coming down to some of these levels, understand no longs and continue looking for, for more of a drop. I will say this, I did take a long, of course, back on 
uh, late last week off of the weekly naked point of control. As we all know, that hit take profit one. We got a nice bounce from where we were looking at. In the end, of course, stopped out the rest of that trade. But I did take the original uh, weekly naked point of control, second bounce range low. We come up and we hit take profit one as we were looking at during that live stream, right? There was no open interest. The, the order flow was, you know, fairly on the weak side. We were not seeing the extremely bullish order flow ended in the lower high down, lower high down. As we can see, each time from the CC into the CC. And now here we are back down again. So, you know, um, yeah, right, right now I am I'm still looking for lower. Like I just want to make that clear. And so. Let's approach this in a very sensible way. I, I really want to help you with this video. Okay, so there's a few factors that I need you to understand. And I know it's going to be very, it's going to be a confusing time for many people. Why? Uh, yeah, the Bitcoin halving, the institutions, X, Y, and Z. You know, there's, there's a very big narrative that's going to be thrown around everywhere that this is very, very bullish. And I'm not saying it cannot be bullish. You know, I am a technical trader that understands probabilities. Of course, price can go up. But in the realms of probabilities of this range that we are currently in, the highest probability locally is lower. Thus, when we're coming up to some levels, I will show you my read trading read only channel from this morning, just to be completely transparent with you. OK, we had this slight long opportunity off of a daily level, right? For many people, this might be a long and I actually had planned that I might take along here. But then the reaction for me is weak, not good enough. And really simply, I tell my team no long trades for me here, no longs, still looking for lower. So there are opportunities. And I personally, I'm just holding fire and playing it cautiously. Why? Because I feel the best trades are always at range high and then round down to range low, right? So yeah, the narrative, everything's really, really bullish, doesn't mean that you just need to ape into longs at random points. We still have to play the probabilities. What I want to show you here is a few bits of technical analysis. So first of all, I want to show you this nice pitchfork. Okay, so this is, uh, we can look at it from a weekly perspective, right? So this is a higher term time frame pitchfork, which would be, this here we are together on the Bybit chart from the absolute low back in December 2018, up to the all time high. I get $69,000 back down to the low back then in then November uh, 2022, right? So these three pivots give us this pitchfork. We have hit into the middle of the pitchfork, okay, which is, of course, for many people, uh, a target. This was not the primary reason what I believe we're, we're rejecting from, right? I was trading off the Elliott waves with the Fibonacci extensions. That's what, for me, gave me the target of $73,000. But it's always nice. And I know the reason I'm showing this pitchfork because on every video I've done recently, people are asking me about pitchfork. So this is the pitchfork that I'm looking at. And um, yeah, it's just another level of confluence that you have there around $70,000, right? So yeah, just wanted to bring that to your attention. But then then on the lower term time frame, okay, we have the this channel going on. We're really simply, what we can be looking for on this channel is, of course, we got the range high and then we got a range low. So just as we rejected from the highs, I personally am looking for this move down to the range low where I always look for the reaction. Do we get a bullish reaction? If so, we get a long trade. And that's where absolutely we can rise to a new all time high. We could from here, to be fair. Right. Um, but for me, the, the, the reaction at range low, absolutely key. And I'm going to give you a little bonus nugget here, little golden nugget for you all. And that is just a reminder uh, of how the trend has been of 2023, where it holds higher lows, big, long periods of higher lows. And so if that is the case, just be aware, we might not make it down to the range low and we could hold this higher low here. Would personally not be looking for it this high, but if you look historically, this has been, you just look at this periods where it comes very, very, very close to the low. But each time, not quite taking it out, right? So if that is to continue, we all know that we can be looking towards the range low. My preferred scenario, of course, taking it out. But if we are to look at this here to here, ever so slight higher low. So we could be looking for this ever so slight higher low again. For me, this is always just a case of trade the reaction. So, you know, I'm not taking the long here. We can have the alert set around 60,600. When that alert goes off, let's come over here and look at the order flow together. OK, so we'll be looking at our key statistics here. Top line is the HL of the candle. 
then the time of the candle down to the trade counts. I'd be switching between this template and our, of course our standard order flow template where we have the rec candles and the volume of course. Uh, between the two we would make an informed decision of exactly how we want to be approaching that trade do we want to be longing 60,600 zone or do we want to be waiting for the range low the only way we can make that informed decision is by using this data in front of us of the order flow so that's my game plan that's what i'm looking at next i'm looking for more of a drop to at least that level if we don't get the reaction at range low then of course we can look for much lower and then that bearish scenario is absolutely in play uh, but for now I will end with a, a summary of how and why the charts are what they are. Before that, one very, very quick announcement for you. And that is just a reminder, really, of the current um, new campaign that we're doing with Bybit. Of course, we are Bybit partners. And we have this affiliate link if you are interested, where they're currently doing a very nice, to be fair, uh, campaign where you can actually get a free $500 trading position. Uh, you could just come over here and click long or short and straight away entered into a free 500 uh, tether uh, trade position. So if that's of interest for you, as well as a few other bonuses that they have via the link, uh, you can take advantage of that. Of course, you do have to be uh, signing up under our affiliate. And if you are not able to trade on Bybit because of restrictions. We do have BingX and FemX as non-KYC options that you can take advantage of. Top Step, which is a prop firm, a VPN, as always, if you want, and then Quant Tower. These are the new partnerships that we have, each one with exclusive benefits uh, for signing up via the Chart Champions uh, partnership link. So if that's of interest, you know, you can get this via our website or, you know, maybe just in the description down below. So these are yeah, the exclusive offers that we currently have available for you if you would like to take advantage of those all in the links down below. I think this is a cool one that we've managed to get for you all of a free $500, uh, $500 trade just like that. So, yeah in the description down below and ending with the final summary. So is, you know, at the start, is Bitcoin in a bear market? Has the Bitcoin bull market ended? Not yet. Okay. So yes, of course, uh, you know, the title might be a bit clickbait. The intro might be very frightening for many people, but you have to understand it's just the way YouTube works. I, I always, always keep my content non-biased professional. Okay. Probabilities. I'm never ultra bullish, neither ultra bearish. Sometimes if people just read my titles, well, they can be very thrown off track. And uh, yeah, I, I just would say to that, watch the video, listen to what I say, and you're never going to have that level of confusion. Or if you still have confusion, of course, we do have the whole educational line library where you can educate yourself fully so you're making your own plans you're making your own trades with a little bit of guidance on the side right so that's of course the, the main thing that you should be doing educating yourself till you fully understand but yeah really simply listen to what i say understand the video and you will see that i am not ultra bearish i do not say the bitcoin bull market is over i do think i'm looking for lower which is a long the dip opportunity it's just now my context has changed where i'm not so aggressive I'm not going to be taking these high longs. I'm waiting for the lows. And again, if we lose these lows, then yes, absolutely. I can be looking for a much bigger drop. But for me, level to level. While we maintain where we are, while we get bullish reactions at the range lows, I still believe we can push on higher. If we start to get the higher term time frame market structure change, if we get that major sign of weakness of losing the range low, then yeah, we absolutely need to be even more cautious and look for an even bigger drop. Like we say, we can be absolutely bullish on the uptrends, but when this weakness starts to show, let's remain a bit patient, let's not be so aggressive, let's play a bit cautiously and protect our profits. We made a lot of profits on the way up. Don't be the person that makes a load of profits, never takes profits, that never takes shorts when there's weakness and sees all that profit turn to losses. I want to help you avoid that. And I hope so. I do so via, uh, you know, giving you my opinions on these markets. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video and you want more real time updates, you know where to get it via chartchampions.com. Uh, it's where you can educate yourself, learn fully, trade in our competitions, have a journal. If you don't journal, all built into the website for you, uh, you know, catch it all daily morning trading updates. I have my new contenders session out. We have the live trading streams. We have the dedicated altcoin streams. Everything, honestly, for you to absolutely excel and you know push yourself forwards in this career path of trading. So yeah, if you want more, you know where to get it. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. And yeah, let's see how this range goes. Whether we hold the higher low, find support, or whether we go down to uh, 
much lower prices to come. I'm happy to see either way, to be honest with you. I'm prepared for both. So uh, yeah, cheers, everybody. Thank you. It's me signing out. Have a good one. And yeah, thank you ever so much. Boom and goodbye. Cheers.